All right, so we just got to our spot out here in Western Maryland, um, and it, we've been here maybe 10 minutes, and we have found two smooth green snakes, which is amazingly awesome for me because I have yet to see one in person. I've been looking for smooth green snakes for a while, never had any luck. Michael's had some luck with them before out here, but me never, but we found two within 10 minutes. Also found this, okay, we, we found this um, eastern milk snake. He's in shed, he's fairly dull, um, but this spot has already paid off significantly. It's fairly early in the morning, sun's getting a little overhead, but this is awesome. I'm gonna get, get up in here and get you some close-ups of these guys before we let them go, but this is really cool. I think Michael also has a snake. I got a rig neck, <laughs> not as cool, but it's still a cool snake. So, <laughs> oh, not even 10 minutes in and we're, we're four snakes in already, so hopefully this is gonna be, oh hopefully this is gonna be a really good day. These are the two smooth greens we flipped. Um, if you get up in close, you can see the difference in color on these guys. One's really bright, the other one's a little more duller, but he's got like this iridescent kind of blue in between the scales, which is really neat. It's a really cool color. But these guys, it's funny, the habitat, if you can see behind me, it's a lot of this hillside that they like. They like hillsides like this. They actually tend to like it a little more cooler and a little bit damper than the rough green snake, which has the keeled scales. The smooth green snake does not have keeled scales. These guys are a fossorial snake. You find them undercover a lot, as opposed to the rough green snake, which you'll find out, and they climb trees. They are an ar arboreal species. So it's really cool. I'm so excited to finally see these guys in person. So my first time out to Western Maryland was actually in 2003. So for over the last 20 years, we have been out here herping on some of the hottest days. Um, we've gotten stung by bees. We've gotten um, skunked where we just absolutely found nothing. But there's this one spot that we found out here in Western Maryland and it has never disappointed. And what's so great that we have found out here, we find tons of species, but our favorite thing to see out here are rattlesnakes. So behind me here under this rock, we have found, let's see, about nine rattlesnakes so far, but they're really skittish today. Sometimes we come out here and we've seen them and they've just sat out on the rocks, very nice um, for us to get photos and whatnot. But today, all nine of them have just went right under the rock before we could get any photos. So this one here, right under this crevice, it's very hard to see. It's a very small little rattlesnake. Now the ones out here in Western Maryland, um, instead of the ones we usually find closer to us, usually are kind of a blacker, darker rattlesnake. The ones closer to us we find um, they're kind of yellowish, gold colored. Uh, so it's really cool to see them out here in Western Maryland. No matter how many times I hear a rattlesnake rattle, it's always awesome to hear. Put that on. Alright, so yeah, checking the seat. Michael is up yeah. here. He's got a slimy salamander that our friend Dave actually found. So I'm trying to climb this hill so we can go check that thing out. I feel like I'm pretty lucky so far. It hasn't really slimed me. So these salamanders are known for excreting a pretty thick mucusy slime that not only protects their skin but also makes them distasteful to predators and a lot of times when I got some on my hand when, when you catch them you get it on your hands and it's very difficult to scrub off. Um, this is a pretty good size slimy salamander. They're really sharp looking. I do I do really just you know the black and white contrast and a lot of animals is you know part of its camouflage but it, it's really a cool kind of contrast. I'm gonna let this one go right up right back under the rock where Dave found it right here. Um, so far we're really having a, a really awesome day out here in the field. I absolutely love getting up to the mountains and uh, just so much diversity out here. So while we were out here herping on this hillside, there's a stream down the way from us and we noticed there were two, um, two does, the female deer, getting water in the stream and they watched us when we started coming up this hillside and then they started kind of making noises and they took off and we didn't think anything of it at the time but while we were coming up this hillside there is a baby fawn down here and a lot of times when deer have very small fawns 
um, nesting or laying nearby, they'll try and get the attention of any potential predator and they'll run off the opposite direction of the fawn to try and make those predators to follow them so they don't discover their fawns. So I don't want to get too close to this thing, but if you could zoom in and you could see this tiny little baby fawn, he's just laying, they're just laying there sleeping, waiting for the mother to come back. They are totally unprotected at this point. Um, so I don't, like I said, I don't want to get too close and scare the thing up, but it is so cute. It's just, it, it's it's a very cute animal at, at, at that age so I don't know how close you can get in to see it but we're gonna give it some space and I, oh shit B roll <laughs> don't drop them I'm a professional <laughs> shut up <laughs> alright I'll just start over now because now I'm lost alright so while flipping this hillside, we also managed to find two little gutter snakes. And as you can see here, oh, he also pooped on me. They're very green poop. Um, but as you can see here, this one, it resembles more closely to the garters we find back at home. It's kind of a greenish color with like this yellow striping through it. The ones out here in Western Maryland actually are more brownish, kind of a red coloration. And if you see this like tan kind of striping through here, and if you get in close here, you can actually see this one's almost kind of a, even a bluish tint to it. It's a really beautiful color. And it's really cool to see these side by side like this on the same hillside to really see the difference in coloration of them. Um, hopefully we can find an even bigger one because these are really pretty out here in Western Maryland. As you can see behind me, this body of water here, it's a much faster flowing stream than that uh, seep we were checking out earlier finding the mountain duskies. Now you can still find mountain duskies along this stream, but much more common salamander to find in these fast flowing streams is this two-line salamander. This is a pretty common salamander that we also find back at home, um, but they're always cool to see, flip rocks and see, see them underneath, especially because this one is, they're very pretty. They've got this gold coloration and um, the like black flecking and something that's really important about streamside salamanders when you're flipping these rocks and taking pictures and whatnot you want to make sure you keep them wet because they are very very dependent on the water so you want to make sure that if you're handling them, handling them like this you want to make sure you keep dipping it in the water or um, collecting water in your hands so you just definitely don't want these little guys to dry out oh, look at that what a beautiful all right animal. so we got one out in the open Very pretty yellow face. Look at the pattern on that thing. It's a small one. Only has what one six six little buttons on it. Very pretty snake. Oh, 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 you pissed him off. He's ready to strike. There it is. He's doing a coil. Mode. Yeah, no rattle. No rattle. I stood up tall, so it, it no was rattling. like, get away from me. He's coming at you because there's two of us over well, here and one of you. Yeah, there he's goes. also go, trying to go home. He wants to go back to the rock. Yeah, there he goes. This is where all the other ones are. So. Oh, nope, he's going under that. No? No, no, there's, no there's no going under. He's See. probably going to go this way, right between us. Getting a little close for comfort. 